well, look at this library. It's splendid, isn't it? I mean, absolutely amazing. We have uh, spent uh, in total over eight million pounds to decarbonise 14 buildings, um, seven libraries, six fire stations and a day centre. This is the showpiece. I mean, we didn't just decarbonise. We closed the library for a, for a small period of time. Uh, we've put solar panels on the roof. We've insulated the walls. We've replaced all the windows. We've put uh, air source heat pumps in. And it is just opened up the whole library. It's bright, it's light, it's welcoming for our residents and they just love it and it's a showcase for uh, future projects. We do have to uh, obviously decarbonise uh, and reduce our emissions going forward. Uh, we have a strategy to be, uh, for our own estate, carbon neutral by 2030 and that's all part of the, uh, the Paris Agreement which uh, all nations ha have uh, signed up to. But it's the right thing to do for our communities as well to save emissions. It actually saves money as well because you're reducing your electricity bill. This is completely carbon neutral, so it's a win-win all round. Our next steps are the fact we have produced decarbonisation plans for 50 sites in total. So we're ready to go, we're waiting for to get funding uh, to move that forward, partly from government, partly from uh, uh, development, developments and, uh, and so forth, as well as uh, County Council money. We're about to publish our Climate Action and Adaptation Plan, which will show everyone in West Sussex what our plans are for the next few years in terms of climate resilience and uh, action.